hello students yeah uh, this class just sir uh, i'm just going to discuss about the week number 7 and problem number 1 so the problem is a pentagonal pyramid now here it's uh, previously we have seen the projection now this one is a section when you are projecting the so uh, solids if you are sectioning that means you are cutting it how it looks okay that we will see so the pentagonal pyramid is a figure and the sides of base is 30 mm and axis is 60 mm long of pyramid okay it's i'm having one uh, pyramid similarly like it's a uh, three sides and similarly the pentagon maybe having five numbers of sides okay so this is apex this is base and this is edge edge strips this is edge okay uh, so this is also a edge edge this is also a edge uh, so the now question is rest with its base on hp simply it's having rest with its base with its base on hp okay base on hp simply it's resting imagine it is a pentagon okay and at an an edge of its base is parallel to vp base edge see this is a base edge is parallel to vp when you are making a vp line it is parallel the section plane perpendicular to vp so one one plane see this is imagine one plane it is cutting i am cutting parallel this is this plane is nothing but it is Ah, uh, perpendicular to VP. This is perpendicular to VP. See if it is like this. If I am cutting it, it is perpendicular to VP. So uh, perpendicular to VP at inclined forty five degree to HP. So it is cutting like this. That same pentagonal pyramid. We just going to cut like this, and we just going to look the top view. Okay, just imagine. So for that, so inclined at forty five degree. Let it be. So same. simple position is enough to finish for the pentagon after that we just going to make a section so let us make its uh, axis is 60 so it may be up to here let me make one reference line let it be P H P. Let it be like this. So now we need to draw the simple position. The edge its base is parallel to V P. So its sides is specified is thirty. So let it be like this. Sides is thirty mm. With the help of this, we just going to draw. So let us take the pro protector and let us keep with one of its edge. Since the exterior angle method, let us mark from here. Since it is a pentagon, seventy two, seventy to eighty, seventy two. I could mark here. Let it be. Let me mark for a thirty. Again, seventy, seventy-two. So let us take the distance is thirty mm. So 
So from from here we need to locate the another point it is 30 okay now we just name otherwise we just locate the center yeah to locate the center we shall use the protector and some many method are there for exactness since it is 72 is an included angle here it may be 54 uh, similarly fifty fifty four so these two points if I am keeping here for this edge let me make and if I am keeping here for this edge So it is meets that point is call it as O. So this is 72 degree. So remaining you see 180 total. Uh, 72, 180 minus 72 is 108 divided by 2. It's obviously here 54 degree. Okay. So let us name uh, A, B, C D E okay for a pentagon so here since it is a pyramid so everything is a when you are seeing from the top this edge strips you can able to see so I am just connecting all edge strips all edge strips now vertically erect a line we can identify now just erect a line this point this point this point this point and this point since it is the axis it is axis is 60 mm let me kept in the 6 and this is a point is apex so just connect apex to all the points which you have made since this is e dash in bracket oh, let it be o or let it let us leave this is d dash in bracket for this point and this is c dash and this is a dash since these two are uh, hidden we could connect like this by a dotted line similarly this direction by a dotted line okay fine now this strips also b b dash you can able to see it is visible only when you are looking from here okay when you are looking from here it is visible so this point is apex o dash this height is axis height is 60 see I used to put 60 mm here similarly you are using it should not be mm don't mention any units inside the drawing okay again 
now everything over now we just going to see the section plane the section plane 45 degree with respect to hp is going to cut that was the question it's given in the problem uh, it's the section plane perpendicular to vp and it's inclined 45 degree to hp passes through the axis at a point 35 mm above the base so 35 mm above the base you need to mark 35 mm simply um, making one rough line so this line up to here 35 mm okay that is up to here it is 35 mm so 45 degree it is making a cut so it is making a cut with a 45 degree now you keep this is an intersection point which is from the base it is 35 mm i am keeping here and i am marking here 45 degree so that if i am connecting this 45 degree through this line i could be able to get the sectional plane you see this is known as a s p s p stands for sectional plane or cutting plane okay so sectional plane or cutting plane is here so properly give the arrow so when we are cutting it we supposed to give the points by numerals usually the cutting plane you will give the points in numerals so let us start from one side so a to o a to o so this is let it be one dash and b to o b is here b is at the center so this is two dash c is here c is here here to here so this is three dash similarly behind d is here d is here 4 dash and there is one point 5 dash now we have cut everything now we have to show this uh, the top view when you are cutting it it's very simple erect a perpendicular line erect a perpendicular line see c to o is there 3 is here so when you are erecting a perpendicular line it will meet c that is the point is 3 1 or 3 it's not a 3 1 3 this is a point is 3 let me write here 3 this is a point similarly at b there is some other point at 4 to d so there is one point this is 4 and here 5 is there we erect a vertical line this is 5 and here 1 is there, a right vertical line, this is 1. So here you cannot able to mark the 2. See 2 is here and it is in the going in the parallel line. The straight line it is going, it is in the v, HP and VP. The point 2 you cannot able to mark. For that, to mark 2, you just take one horizontal line which meets the edge strips that you name P dash and erect a vertical line erect a vertical line that meets O to C again you write the point is P and keep a compass keep O as a center P as a radius and make a arc make a arc in this direction make an arc in this direction so this is a point 2 this is a point 2 that's it this is a point 2 so now we got 1 2 3 4 5 we just connect all you connect all
you will get the sectional top view of the pentagonal pyramid now you shade it you shade it this portion we can write this portion apparent shape of section apparent shape of section obviously this is a sectional top view so this is a section so the remaining section this section only we have uh, make a diagrams to identify everything okay that's it okay that's it thanks